I want more in 2015. Everybody wants more in 2015. So I think that's part of the goal and that's part of what makes being an athlete so much fun is every single year you're trying to be better. Every single year you're trying to find a way to improve on your game. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what, what that looks like. I don't know what that means. All I know is I control what I can control and that's every single day training to be the best athlete I can be. I don't know. I think it was probably some point in college um, uh, when I transferred to Wisconsin and I was on the scout team there and I was going up against the Wisconsin offensive line, which is a fantastic offensive line every day, and I started to have a little bit of success. I think that was really the first time where I was pretty confident that I would have the ability to maybe do it. Um, but there's so many things that can go wrong along the way and you never really fully know. So it's just uh, every single day working hard to try and make that dream come true. Uh, I've, been, I've been fortunate enough to have so many great moments throughout my career. Um, I think the very first one of my NFL career was the, the pick six in the playoffs against the Cincinnati Bengals. That was such a big moment. Um, it was in the playoffs. It was the Texans' first ever playoff victory, and I got a chance to be a part of that as a rookie, so that was a massive moment for me. Um, but then this year, the last sack of the year, it was a safety, um, and it, was, it gave me 20 and a half sacks, and I became the first player to ever have two 20-sack seasons, ever. And if, when I sit there and I think about all the great pass rushers that have ever come through this league and all the guys who have been unbelievable players, I think that was a very special moment for me. Um, I've talked to a couple of them, but really I haven't gotten a chance to talk to a whole lot of them. You know, I've got, I've got to talk with Howie Long. You know, you look up to guys like Strahan and um, obviously the late Reggie White. was uh, been able to read his books, but unfortunately never got the opportunity, obviously, to talk to him. Um, but just so much respect for what they do because when you go out there on the field, you know how hard it is and you know how hard you have to work to be great. So anybody who's had success at this level, you have a lot of respect for them. There really honestly isn't one thing that I would say is a whole, whole lot different from other guys. I think it's more trying to create that complete package. It's trying to be big, fast, strong, explosive, and powerful all at the same time. And I think that that's why you work so hard to try and create that all well-rounded athlete so that you can do so many different things, whether it's pass rush from the outside with speed or pass rush from the inside with power or go on offense and play tight end. There's so many different things that you can do if you create a great athlete. Yeah, he does. He's, uh, he's a nice guy. He's a great guy. And uh, I, him and I share a very mutual respect for each other because I see how hard he works and I see how great he is and how he approaches the game. Um, so I have a lot of respect for him. And for me, it's a lot of fun to go up against him twice a year because it's a chance to measure yourself against another great competitor. You got to ask Coach on that one. I don't know the answer to that one. Um, I don't even know if I'm an option to be able to be drafted on offense, but obviously I would love the opportunity. Um, I work very hard, like I said, to create the best athlete possible. And if I can help the team win by going on offense more, I'm absolutely going to try and do that. An extremely underrated player that I have a lot of respect for is, uh, hang on, let me Google it. Upside down, my bad. So let's pull these out. See what we have. Oh, about to fall out. These are from Reebok, as I mentioned. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like the way this looks already. Uh, so, this, so let's just get the box out. So bam. Uh, pretty obvious if you can see by now with the uh, the lettering right there on top. Put the scissors right here just to see haters. Anyway, oh, so you can see the box right now. You can see what these are for the most part. 